The services running in the appliance become unavailable during the installation of the patches. You must perform this procedure during a maintenance period. As a precaution in case of failure, you need to back up the vCenter server appliance. If vCenter server appliance is configured in a vCenter high availability cluster, you must remove the vCenter server high availability configuration and delete the passive and witness nodes. For more information, use the above YouTube card. I have already downloaded ISO patch files from my VMware.com and uploaded into the data store named DS1. Please use the above YouTube cards for more information. Today's lab session. vCenter IP address is 192.168.1.23. Welcome to Global Technology Options Knowledge Sharing Sessions. Let's join with the screencast. The existing vCenter version is 7.0 Update 3 and we are going to update 7.0 Update 3H. ISO image that you previously downloaded from my VMware.com. You must attach the ISO image to the DVD drive of the vCenter server appliance. I have already uploaded the ISO image to a data store and now we can mount it for the DVD drive of the appliance. Before starting, you need to enable SSH service on vCenter server appliance. Then you can access the vCenter appliance shell using SSH client. In this lab session, I will use PuTTY as my SSH client. Access the appliance shell and log in as a user who has a super administrator role. The default user with a super administrator role is root. Before you install available patches, you can stage the patches to the appliance. You can use the software packages utility to stage patches from a local repository by attaching an ISO image to the appliance. You can accept the end user license agreement by using this option. In the process of staging, the command validates that a patch is a VMware patch, that the staging area has enough free space, and that the patches are not altered. Each patch includes a metadata file that contains information such as the patch version, product name, whether a restart of the system is required and so on. You can see the information about the staged patches using this command. Now you can install staged patches using this command.
After the installation is complete, the appliance will reboot if required. If not, you can reboot of the appliance using this command. In the Summary tab, you can see the changed update status of the vCenter server appliance. Now vCenter server appliance running on an updated patch version. You can verify the version and build numbers. Let's meet with another session next time. Watch, like, and subscribe to my channel and Facebook page for more exciting sessions.